Welcome back guys to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. Today, we are starting off in the shoes of Michael and let's see what's up here. What do we got going on? Um, looks like we've got an S mission right here. Solomon, that's uh, that's his idol movie director, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Hey, what's up, S.A.? A lot to you too. All right. Now let's get to Solomon. <laughs> Listen to this song. Alright, Mr. Solomon, here we are, Sam Austin Memorial Building. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in, but the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Uh-oh. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> all right, head to East Los Santos. So what are we gonna do? Kill all these guys? Uh oh, we got a Corvette here. The Coquette. Huh. Hi, I'm Sue Murray, and I want to be your next governor. What's he want us to do though? Knock these guys off or what? How about you just put us in the movie? That'd be awesome. That'd be a cool mission if you had to be an actor. Hey Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well. 
if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna all right. be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. So we aren't supposed to kill him. We're just supposed to, uh... To change their attitude a little bit. Where are we going here? What the heck just blew up? Did it just sound like something blew up? Oh, there's a freaking spot on the street, Trev. Wake up! Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. Gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Reach the helipad without alerting Rocco. All right, here we go. Head over here to this ladder. Couple of workers down there. Not a problem. This guy's gonna be a problem though. Wow. One hit KO, okay, I see you. All right, let's head over here. Top of this building should be the helicopter. Yep, there we go. There you are. Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, oh shit. Out, these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No, this guy's all mine. <laughs> Beat up Rocco. How do you dodge again? Is it X? Come on. Try to hit me. Try to hit me. Woo! Hit you with that counter, son. Yeah, sit down, biatch. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. <laughs> nice. We'll just steal a helicopter. No big deal. I don't know who you think you are. Look, you can bully him. But you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. Change Milton and Anton's minds by flying you erratically. High speeds under bridges are dangerously close to buildings.
we get under this bridge over here, let's try this. This one's gonna be tough. No! Oh. Whoa! Hey, you wanna try no hands? And where are uh of the 50 bridges achievement thing Don't challenge? Oh gosh, should we go for this one or is that a little bit too much? Ah! Ah! You meant to go all with him. I don't do stunts. Enough. <laughs> Enough. All right, I'll do the shitty movie <laughs> for the shitty money. I'll do anything you want. I'll blow you. And just <laughs> all, right, all right, thank you. Head back to the lot. You guys see the sunken freighter ship down there? That's pretty cool. That stays sunken and stuff. Hey, Milk, what? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, oh, you should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm your apologizing. When you see Solomon, you say, Sorry for the misunderstanding, sir. And you will always, always appreciate the opportunity he's given you. Shit! Now, where am I putting this thing down? When Devin Weston came to do a studio visit, he used the empty water tank. All right, then we'll do the same. Put it there. Oh, come on. We're pretty much on top of that thing. Water tank turned parking lot. We're close enough, right? There we go. All right, Solomon. Solomon's office. Come on. Wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. <laughs> so Looks kind of like Morgan Freeman. Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I... I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. Sweet. I'm, I'm all right. about it. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, hell yeah. All right. Michael's realizing his dreams. He might be an associate producer on a movie. From one of his favorite guys. I still don't know what Solomon is. Is he a director or a, a producer? He's probably a producer, right? Fucking I'm not sure. You dumbass. Hey, Mr. Madrazo. How's that rebuild going? Good. Oh. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. <laughs> Get. 90 miles per hour. Why do we get two stars? What are we doing wrong? Besides stealing a car. Please don't turn left, cop. Thank you. Alright, let's uh let's go pay a visit to what's his name? Where is he at? Martin Madrazo. Oh, up there. Alright. This music made in Mirror Park. Two brothers they called Ink. Song called The Place. So we a couple new texts and a couple new emails. It was cold. 
MT, we gotta stay on this FIB job. That's old. That one's old too. Los Santos Customs. We don't really have all the money I want for that yet. I can't wait till we get a ton of money. We're gonna complete some more missions, get a lot, and then do the Lester missions where you assassinate people and invest in stocks. And then we'll, uh, we'll go steal us a Bugatti and trip it out, trick it out and stuff like that. See how long we can last in this mode. Oh, this is so hard. Woo! We're actually doing pretty good. What? We're killing it, boy. Ah. Finally hit somebody. Oh, shit. I always miss the exits. Because they're so hard to see. All right, there we go. Beginning. You guys want to play some tennis? We can do all the little side missions too. A couple of episodes ago, I asked you guys if you wanted us to do 100% uh, completion on the game and like do all the missions and everything. And, and there's an overwhelming yes response, so we uh, we will probably end up doing that. I'm sure we won't be doing like three or four episodes a day after we beat the game, but we'll still do an episode, you know, maybe an episode a day, episode every two days, where we try to go for completion, which should be pretty cool. Damn. Get off the road! Get off the Get road! Me. Is it bad that in real life when I'm driving and I see one of those moped guys, I totally just want to do that to him? Oh! Hitting sweet jumps in my Escalade! There's another vet. Jesus, everybody's got vets out here. They were all Corvettes. Whoa. Does he have another house? Or where is this? Wow, this is a second house of his. This one's pretty freaking big, too. I'm gonna mess it up a little bit. Sorry, bud. I'm just gonna park right on your front porch. Where the hell are we supposed to go? Oh. What's up, Trev? What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. God. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazzo? Martine's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The truth. Martine is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people, they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in my call. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. Uh-oh. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. 
We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? Huh? Trevor, come on. You still want to drink? Not now! <laughs> no. Right. Poor girl. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. All right. Let's go to the observatory. 